Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of the Sky Map. And today, guys, we are going to be working on a version of this small machine over here. But really quick, off camera, I did finish building this, and it's very effective. A little too effective, actually. Basically, let me explain. So, the reason I have this machine here is because I've gotten so many seeds. And I refuse to just right-click composter for hours. But also, I need lots of bone meal. We're actually out of bones right now. Completely out of bones. We have some bone meal in here mostly. Wait, is that it? Nope, we're still going. So we're going to build a new version of this type, type of machine. So, I'm going to place a chest down. Uh... Actually, this one right here should do. So. Thinking how this works. Uh, okay. So. This is how the machine works. It's basically a bunch of hoppers. I'm placing this here for now because I'm going to be using this composter. Alright, just the stuff in the hopper left to go? Cool. Uh... There. Boom. Alright. Now I only need this to run out. Uh, yeah, basically, I can explain how this works right now, actually. So, a cool thing is you can actually hook up a hopper to a composter which will make it fill up with bone meal until it all goes down to here, where it collects, and then bam, you have lots of bone meal. Now, I actually have a plan. I'm going to grab some of the, uh, the new nether dirt. I shouldn't say new anymore. It's been out for like two years or three years or something. Some of like the nether dirt. All right, we're all good. How close is that to being full? Not very, all right. So I'm going to be using the nether dirt to uh, finish up this machine. And we have some bone meal now. That's pretty cool. So. And now. There. There. Uh, let's place down our lever. Boom. So, here's how the machine works. This basically works like a super smelter. Uh, I feel like I should have built this in a different location, but you know what? It's fine for now. So basically, you have this chest, which when you fill it up, it all goes into the hopper minecart, where it then will go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and uh, it needs to do this quickly, which is why I have it just three. It, this is the fastest method, uh, because it evenly distributes, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, we have our machine all ready to go. That was very fast, but I think I could build something around it, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Can I get any paper right now? Please tell me I can. I can get some, not much. Can I use bamboo to craft paper? I don't know. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's finish grabbing all of this sugar cane. And, yeah. I just, I thought that was saplings for a moment. That was, because they fell such like a speed, like, yeah. Oh yeah, off camera, I made an entire like stinking chart to just about like uh, the stinking uh, cake business. I made a whole chart about it. And it's 
pretty insane. So, you get the idea. Minecart goes back and forth, giving me bone meal. Quickly, as well. Quickly is the key word there. The speed I get bone meal is the main thing, just as long as it's faster than my current method. Alright. And... Stick the landing. Okay. This is bad. This is filling up like really fast and I'm not able to empty it uh, this isn't great I'm not able to empty this as fast as it fills up uh, I might just have to move all this stuff however it's filling up multiple double chests so I don't know I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. See, I think I can explain my one of my ideas with the stinking chart. Uh, well, from the chart, actually. And it's basically a bone meal system. You might find it a little dumb, I know. But here's the idea. If we use bone meal to get wheat, we're making money at an exponentially faster rate. All from this cake shop, like seriously. It's so much faster, and I can explain everything right now, as long as there are some work blocks. I think I have some sword here. Alright, over here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I have a few. Let's also grab this stuff, quickly. Uh, we don't need the wood. Ha, ah, missed me. <laughs> oh man, I'm such an idiot. Okay, maybe not. Out of here. Anything spawning in here? Any gas? Oh, there is a gas. Hello. Dead. Let's see if it dropped a gas here. It did! My inventory's full. I'll throw out this vine. All right, let's go. That was impressive. All right, let's get going. Back to the overworld. All right. Oh, now to explain my plan for getting, my reasoning for getting these warp blocks, along with other nether things. These warp, warp blocks especially, actually, are probably one of the best sources of compost in Minecraft. Seriously, they fill up. So there's actually percentages, depending on the fit on the item, there are percentages. I'll set this going. Uh, but yeah, you can see this is doing a lot faster than I would. But you can notice, this is going up a lot faster than it would with wheat. Like, look at that, we already have some bone meal. This system is very quick. And wart blocks are like the best composting item in Minecraft because they're so common. And they're just they're just easy. So another thing I might set up is a nether wart wait, could I do that? I could. I could probably set up a giant nether wart farm. Let's see how much I have a sand and gravel chest. And let's put some of my stuff away. Uh there, redstone, boom, wood, let's put that away, tools, there, uh, monster loot, yeah, that's about it, alright, so, what was I talking about, oh yeah, there are percentages for composting, and it's basically the chance for the dirt inside the composter to rise. So, I believe uh, nether wart blocks have like an a, a, a like 50 to 80 percent, 50 or 80 percent chance. You can look this up on the wiki. Just look up um, uh, composting, and you'll actually see uh, these stats. And if you look at this, we already have so much bone meal in here. Like, look at that. So much bone meal. It's insane. 
So I might set up a whole nether farm up here in the overworld. Because those nether mushrooms just grow the wart blocks at an insane rate. And doing it in the overworld makes it so much safer. Stuff's less likely to fall into lava. So I say we set one up pretty close by, maybe around here-ish. Uh, either that or I could do mushroom blocks. But I don't want to do mushroom blocks. That is a large investment. Because... <laughs> Aren't, mushrooms are decently expensive, actually. Yeah, you can actually see. Like, this is gonna be full. Like, this is a decent source of compost. So, this is probably going to be my plan. And it's just, my plan currently is just improve the uh, cake making business a lot. That's basically the current plan. Because. I've been working on this cake business for a while, and it's very good. We now have a extended wheat farm. We're always in need of something. Oh yeah, I need to make a new egg farm as well pretty soon. Because, uh, you see, the one over at... I have an after ability. The one over at the cake farm has a small issue, and that's that these chunks don't always get loaded. So, the chickens in here won't always be pooping out eggs. They just, they just won't. Like, this has, this has two e eggs in it. I checked this like a week ago. Uh, let's just grab some of this really quick. I don't really need sugar cane anymore. I might build a bigger sugar cane farm as well for, uh, for fireworks. I think that would be pretty cool. Anyway, back on over here. All right, here we go, and boom, huh? All right. So, yeah, you can actually see, like, this, this produces a good amount of bone meal, unlike wheat seeds. Wheat seeds don't produce a good amount of bone meal because they have, like, a 10% chance of composting. Um, and if you, over several stacks, I guess that's a decent amount, but like, you know, it's not that much. Uh, but either way, yeah, the chart actually includes everything I do with the cake business. It includes Tunnel of Love, it includes Steven, it includes, uh, Wizzy's Shop. It includes this big wheat farm. It includes the egg farm I plan on building. Like, uh, probably close by. I I'm thinking maybe over here-ish. Like, connected to this. Because I plan on putting this in a bowl. It sounds weird, because it is. I plan on putting this all in a bowl, basically. That's the best way to put it. I'm not kid I'm not kidding, that is the best way to put it. Uh, I think this can stop moving for now. Ah, uh, yeah. So, then I pull this. Oop, I pull this. And then it goes. And then I pull it again, and it stops. So, that, this is basically a super smelter, but for composting. And as you can see, this works really, really well. Especially if you have mass quantities of wart blocks. So, Having a wart block farm pretty close by wouldn't be a bad idea. So that's going to be one of the next things we do. A wart block farm. I have a couple of ideas for one. So, and then I'll build an egg farm over here because these chunks are always loaded. Because most of the time, like, I log off. I'm going to log off around here. Seriously, like, I'm going to log off somewhere around here, somewhere where it would load in that area, and plus I want to be able to surround this in a bowl, because that's a cool idea. And then, like, finally get this bit of that island connected after a year. It's still not been connected to anything. So, yeah, just make this part of the path a little bigger. Every other part of the path is big besides over here, but, like, still 
you know. So, yeah, uh, that explains a couple of my plans for the future. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love. And I would like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!